This isn't just a computer, it's a high performance, fully customizable cyber deck. And today I'm showing you how to unlock its full potential on day one. The Raspberry Pi 500 Plus has finally arrived. And whether you're just landed on your doorstep or you're unboxing it right now, I've got you covered. This is your complete day one setup guide. The 500 Plus is a huge leap forward, packing the power of a Raspberry Pi 5, but with 16 GB of RAM and a blazing fast 256 GB SSD pre-installed. In this video, we'll go from the sealed box to a fully personalized machine. We'll cover the super fast initial setup and then dive straight into the fun stuff, remapping keys and programming awesome RGB light shows. Let's get started. All right, let's see what's in the launch day box. We've got the i500 plus itself and the build quality here is fantastic. It has a solid one piece aluminum heatsink to keep that quad core ARM processor cool, similar to the Raspberry Pi 5 and these low profile switches feel great to type on. This has Raspberry Pi operating system on the built-in NVMe drive, which allows for super fast boot times. The moment we plug in the power, and there we are, the desktop in under 30 seconds. That's the power of the SSD. As a new owner, you'll see the setup wizard. It'll guide you through connecting to Wi-Fi and setting your password. Just follow the prompts. It's super straightforward. Once that's done, open a terminal window and run a quick update. Update. This will make sure you have the latest software versions available. Run sudo apt update followed by sudo apt full upgrade and with that the boring part is over. Now let's customize this thing. The real power of the 500 plus is that keyboard is smart. With bright RGB LEDs controlled by a dedicated RP2040 microcontroller. To unlock all of its custom features we just need to install one package from the terminal. Open up your terminal and type sudo apt install rpi keyboard config as shown on screen this will grab the configuration tool and everything we need once that's finished we're ready to start customizing first let's get some info about our keyboard type rpi keyboard config info dash dash followed by ascii boom a full ascii layout of your keyboard how cool is that now let's remap a key i almost never use the grave accent key so let's change it to escape looking at the map grave accent is at row one column and zero the key code for escape is 41. So if I type in RPI keyboard config K set 1 0 to 41, just like that, Grave Accent is now my new escape key. You can find a full list of key codes by typing RPI keyboard config list key codes as shown here. You can remap any key to do almost anything. See how powerful this is? You can create the perfect layout for your workflow right out of the box, but that's only half the story. Let's talk lights. The Pi 500 Plus has several built in lights effects you can cycle through with function plus f4 by clicking function plus f4 multiple times you can cycle across the different variations but using the terminal gives us total control first let's see what effects are available type rpi keyboard config list effects and here a bunch of effects are listed first we can try running the digital rain effect by typing rpi keyboard config effect digital rain and as you can see on my keyboard it appears as if it is raining and next let's try typing heat map instead of a digital rain and now as you can see the places that i'm pressing the most are getting the most activity lights let's now run another variation let's now try hue breathing rpi keyboard config effect hue breathing as you can see there's that breathe effect on my keyboard but for a custom look we can create and save presets let's make a solid cyan preset we'll set it at index zero the effect is solid color the who for cyan is about 170 and we want full saturation. We'd be able to preset zero to a solid CN color. And now to activate it, we just switch to that preset index by typing RPI keyboard config preset index zero. And the best part, the keyboard saves this preset and will restore it after a reboot. You can even control every single LED individually. Let's make the F1 key row zero column one red. By typing RPI keyboard config LED set zero one color red. And if you thought that was cool, Cool. check this out the developers included a little game open your terminal and type rpi keyboard config game yes that is a floppy bird running on keyboard leds a fun little demo of what's possible with this hardware so there you have it from a sealed launch day box to a fully customized high performance machine we've seen how the pre-installed ssd makes setup a breeze and how the rpi keyboard config tool gives you the power to completely personalize your new pi now that's the 
Raspberry Pi 500 Plus, which is officially out. If you are picking one up this launch week, let me know in the comments and tell me what custom layout or lighting effect you're going to create first. If this guide was helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.